pee bag. That's the uh, pee bag. A Bellingham player who's a puff player, local scene, has huge influence. I don't know if he sponsors people or not. There's about four or five Washington players that have like pee bag as like their sponsor tag. I don't know what's going on with there. Maybe it's a mean pig. But we're <laughs> it's Graves and Bussin, who I have not seen before. But, you know, I'm already a fan. Graves and Bussin. Bussin is the green Marth. Graves is the red Falco. Uh, I'm not aware of Bussin's level, but I have assumed it's pretty Bussin. So laser down tilt into up air. This is a fox. It's not going to kill. But uh, Bussin already kind of like starting a foot down. And he's like, damn, this shit is crazy. Graves is like... Dun, 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 dun. He's not even really thinking about anything. He's just like, I wonder what I should have for dinner. Did I leave the stove on tonight? I don't really know. Oh, wait, never mind. It's a set. Bussin gets an edge guard. We have a Marth who can edge guard versus a Spacey. This is anybody's game now. So I assume Bussin is an out of state player, given the fact that I have. I don't recognize the tag at all. But you know, he's a guy. Uh, with a hoodie on and glasses, so you know he seems like he he looks exactly like any um, Amazon uh, worker that you would see in Seattle, but um, apparently he's not from around here because I haven't seen him at all. Tech off the shine, which is a little crazy, but Graves covers it anyway. Even though I've never seen that situation one time in my life, uh, so good for him. Back air off the top. Not a sentence you hear every day. Oh, someone's coming to the mic. Is Jonte? Hello. Testing. Testing. Hello, Jonte. Hi. What's up, Colby? I just saw you wash your round one. How, yeah. was that, how did that feel for you? Um. So, like, honestly, I'm in. A, I'm still in a slump. Uh, the first like few stocks, um, I was like pretty sloppy, but I picked it up after a little bit. Uh -huh. But you know, it felt felt alright. I feel kind of bad, like chain grabbing on FD. Well, he um, went to FD. He counted he did. to FD. He did go to FD. But, um, you know, it is what it is. That's how you play the game. Yeah. So it's just something to get me, like, locked in. So I'm feeling a little bit better now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm just giving you the post-game interview right now. It's oh, like, yeah. okay, so your next matchup is against the Rockets. How do you yeah. feel against <laughs> Jalen Well, Green. I'm actually playing um, next after this match as well. Okay. Against so Yetis Exist. So you're playing on stream again? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And what's exciting for... for my match with Yeti exists is that like he's the number one player in the Philippines, and so Ooh. Uh, I'm excited to play like the best player in the Philippines as a Filipino. Who's he play? He plays Fox. So Ooh. it'll be Fox Dittos. Okay, yeah. I'm yeah. excited. Cause I'm, I was I must be like you were already like catching stuff or you were catching all the side B's with like up tilts and stuff, and you were um, edge guarding him like really sharply within the first games, and he just sort of walked up and took no, no warm-up, and then he got double three stocks, and I was like, damn, that's rough. You should have yeah. probably warmed up a little. Yeah. But we yeah. have, we have right now we have Graves versus Bussin, who's the Marth. I don't know if you know about so, Bussin. I've never heard of that slide off was crazy. Did you see that? I did not see okay. that. Okay. Anyways, I've never heard of Bussin before. He did, uh... Oh, Star he's, GG says he's from Seattle. That's crazy because I've never seen him before in my life. Yeah. Well, there's so many new players like coming out to the scene. Mm. Like the player that I just played, um, he's he's like been playing for a while, I think. But like this is his second local ever. Mm. This is round one though, so it makes sense. Yeah, I, I had yeah. said earlier that he looks like every other uh, tech, uh, like Amazon tech worker that I've seen <laughs> in Seattle. Like now I'm like now that I know he lives in Seattle. I'm like 99% plus 800 odds that he he works for like Amazon or something. You know what? I could see it. I could see it. But he Grace took uh, game one kind of without incident after the first stock. Bustin had like a really strong edge guard within the first like 10 seconds, so I'm like, oh, he's locked in. He's got it down, but mm -hmm. maybe not. Um, as much as I thought he did. Yeah. Well, we'll see if he can close out Graves at high percent right now. Might not be it for this stock. Because he counterpicked a thought, and then he's down two stocks on his counterpick. I'm like, ooh, that's kind of rough. <coughs> he really grab. wants that grab so bad. Yeah, he's really fishing for it. Graves is not giving it to him. Okay, but grab's not the, the really thing you want at like 130 or whatever, is it? Mm, you just up throw into an air or just go for an edge guard. But oh, this could be it. 
Oh, Ooh, that shine. That shine. Yeah. He's at low percent. So there that it is. Shine works. Grab that ledge. Grab the ledge. Ooh. Please. Okay. But, like, that's the type of edge guard he had within 10 seconds of game one. So I'm like, oh, I thought this would be a closer set. But he's still bringing it back. Marth Killer CC down smash. Pretty and, good. you know, down two stocks, things have to happen really quickly. Otherwise, it's kind of a wrap. Ooh, holding down a little too much. That's bad against Falco at low percent. Double forward air. Oh! So now he's outside of CC, besides like jab or something. So he really has less neutral tools to work with. He's off stage. Oh. Oh. This is the things he need. Oh my god. Yeah. He's ready. Graves texts that every day of the week. That's what they, in other sports, they call that defensively responsible. Mm -hmm. Defensively responsible. I like that. And yeah, back air is too much and he's dead. That's a GG. That's a All right. I will be heading up there. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. So Bussin had his moments, but there were certain times where he was like, okay, I'm going to kill you now. And then Graves is like, actually, I... I actually use the force field to like block your attack, and then I use you know reverse magic to you know hit that uh, attack back to you twice at its power, so you don't get hit. I don't get hit, and you get hit. Like he just kind of like I'm going to beat you now, and then he beat him. So next we have Jonte versus 